Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Kenzie if you're new. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a curated home decor haul. There's a lot of things that I have just gathered over the past few months, honestly. Some of this stuff is from Christmas even um, that I haven't showed you guys yet and I want to just talk about them, show you where I got them, how much they were, and just kind of go into detail. These are all very good everyday year-round staple pieces, but we have things from McGee & Co, Target, HomeGoods, Amazon, TJ Maxx, all of our favorite stores. Also a really exciting find from Facebook Marketplace, but you could call this a spring decor haul. I'm probably going to be using most of these in the spring anyway. I don't really decorate for spring, like I don't do Easter decorating or anything like prom it for spring but I do like to throw in um, decor here and there and a lot of my spring decor consists of this everyday neutral pieces that you can use year-round my year-round decor is my uh, spring decor so And really quick, let me show you guys how I've been getting my groceries. Um, this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, which is so cool. I've actually been wanting to work with Thrive for um, a while now. If you're not familiar with Thrive, it's an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You are guaranteed savings. You can shop for thousands of the best-selling organic foods and natural products below traditional retail prices. And what's really cool about Thrive is they will match any price. So if you find a better price at a different grocery store, let them know and they will match that price. I saved $103 just from this grocery trip just because I use Thrive Market and they just have the best discounts available. So if you are looking for a new grocery delivery service or if you just want to make your life a lot more convenient um, and you want to try out Thrive, you can click the link down below in the description or you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Kenzie Mac and you can save 30% off of your first order and also get a free gift. Highly recommend Thrive. We have loved it so far and it just saves you so much money and so much time you might as well so thank you again to thrive market for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's get into the rest and pretty much almost everything here can be linked so if it can i will link it on the screen here and if it can't it will be linked down below in the description box okay i think i'm gonna start with mcgee co because that has just been one of my favorite stores recently definitely my favorite designer store i would have to say i feel like their prices compared to other high-end stores are not too bad. Some things are very, very expensive and I can't afford at all, but there are some things, especially their decor pieces, um, those are pretty affordable. The first thing I got is this tray and this is marble. It's kind of like a beigey tone. I love this. I think it is so, so beautiful. It has little pads on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up your countertop and I'm personally using this right next to my sink. Um, I like how it kind of blends in with my quartz countertops, but because there's so many different tones, um, like warmer tones, there's also some darker grays and whatnot, I, it really stands out um, and it makes a statement over there, but it doesn't stand out too much. I don't want too much attention drawn to my island because I really want you to be able to focus on the backsplash behind it. So I wanted something simple, something that wasn't going to be too contrasty, um, but something that still looked high end and that stood out. And that is exactly what this piece is. There's so many different ways to style a tray like this um, in your kitchen, in your living room, on your coffee table, on your entryway table. The next thing I got is this marble scalloped canister. This is so, so beautiful. Um, it kind of just has ridges on the side and then just has that scalloped edge detail that I love so, so much there is a lid that comes off it is super super cute in my opinion and again so many different things that you can do with a piece like this I'm personally styling it on my kitchen counter right now I'm kind of using it as a bookend to stack some cookbooks or coffee table books I think it is so darling I like how it's practical too I love looking at the kitchen items at McGee & Co because I feel like everything is so so practical I feel like I get the most kitchen items because there's just so many things that you can do with them. That and the planters. Um, the planters are very cheap, very affordable, and you can use them as a base. And I also use them as a kitchen crock too. So it's a very light marble. There's not too many differing tones in it, um, but there are a few little beige specks here and there. It does glisten in the light too, which is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it 
kind of glistening. The next thing I got is so big. I'm only going to be able to hold this up for like a minute, but I will put some footage <laughs> of it here. So it is this huge brown vase. This is so big. I really feel like camera, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's huge. Um, it's way too big for my countertop, so I'm using it as a floor vase. It is a perfect size to put an olive tree or any sort of like tree that you have. I love the brown shade it has. So, so cute. And I like the just kind of clay handmade distressed feel of it. This is also a great bigger staple vase. I didn't have anything where the opening was big enough to fit a, I'm like, this is literally echoing. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> I didn't have anything um, big enough for an olive tree or to fit an opening for a tree. Um, so I was really hoping this would fit and it there's so much room. There's This thing is just huge. But I've already used her, but I've never talked about her. Um, but she is something that you guys will see a lot on my channel because she's just such a great piece. Such a great year-round piece. All of these pieces are. I love spring decor for that reason. Last thing I got from Mankinko is this pitcher. I've already styled these on my floating shelves. You guys have probably already seen him, but I think it's cute to just like stick some florals on the top, kind of a stacked on top of some books to elevate it a little bit. Um, this is super adorable. So many different uses for this too. I love how it's pretty and practical. You guys know me. I love the detail of it. It's very intricate, kind of looks faded and rustic and totally my vibe. And it looks handmade too, which is one of my favorite things. I got this from McGee & Co, but it is by the brand Creative Co-op, so you can find it on Amazon um, or you can find it on McGee & Co. I will link both where you can find it from and you can get whatever's cheaper. I don't know what's cheaper. But I think whether you use this as a vase or whether you're using it as a pitcher or whether you just kind of use it as a decor piece on top of your counter, um, I think that there's so many different options for this. A nice neutral organic um, handmade piece that I love. Okay, moving on to TJ Maxx. This is one of my favorite finds that I have found recently. So it's this beautiful travertine vase. This is so heavy. This is one of those things that I'm not gonna be able to show you for very long because I'm just so afraid I'm gonna drop it. But I just think it is so cute. I love the distressing of this travertine stone. Um, I just like how old and rustic and natural travertine looks. I am such a big fan. Um, and I like the beige undertones of it. Super, super beautiful, everything about this piece. And this was only $50 from TJ Maxx. They are selling a lot of travertine um, sort of decor pieces at TJ Maxx right now. So if you are into that, then I definitely recommend to go look at TJ Maxx in store. TJ Maxx is a great place to get stone, marble, travertine, um, just kind of older rustic items for a great price. If you got this from a designer website, I feel like it could be upwards of like $200. Definitely a one of a kind piece. Um, I am so happy with her. So happy I got her too. It, I wasn't going to at first and then I just couldn't stop thinking about her. So I went back and got her and I'm just so happy that I did. Next from TJ Maxx is this bowl. Um, this was $19.99 and it says handcrafted in Portugal. It is kind of like a uneven sort of moment if you can know what I'm saying. Um, and then it has some beige detailing, like almost watercolor painting painted on the inside. I think it's very unique, very pretty, and it kind of brings out the coastal vibes um, that we like to throw in here and there to our home. I feel like this is such a good, just kind of staple bowl piece, um, would be a great fruit bowl or a centerpiece on a table. I actually got this for Christmas. My brother got this for me, um, and he picked it out himself, which I thought was so cute and I actually love it. So thank you, Andy. The next item I got is this arched picture frame. This is also from TJ Maxx. I just put a print in here. It's kind of like a cottagey beach print. It's watercolored. Um, I thought it was really cute and kind of brings out the brighter colors. I think it's perfect for springtime. Um, I'll probably cut off the border though, um, the white border and just put the picture in. So the border is kind of just the clear background if that makes sense um, but I love this frame it is a nice driftwood very neutral natural colored wood tone this is my favorite kind of tone it is not too yellow and it is just a beautiful beautiful color so I love her I feel like you can never have too many frames and 
This one just really stood out to me. I like the arch detail. It's just gonna give some more interest on my shelves and it's just something different. I don't have any picture frames like this, so. Okay, the next piece I found I'm so excited for. This is from Facebook Marketplace. I actually just picked this up like a few nights ago. Um, and I think this is, I always say this, but I think this is the best thing I've ever found off Facebook Marketplace. It is this tree and I need your guys' help because I have no idea what kind of tree this is. I wanna say it's like a black olive tree. It kind of looks like the black olive tree from Pottery Barn. It also kind of looks like maybe a shady lady tree. I don't know if there's the same. I don't know. I've just been trying to do my research and trying to find this tree because it is absolutely beautiful. The leaves are like thicker and plasticky. They're not like the silk leaves that you would find on an olive tree. So I love that about it. And they're different than your normal olive tree leaves. Um, so I just, I don't know what it is. It might be just like a different variation of an olive tree, um, but it is beautiful. It also, it is so tall too, and it came in this planter, which I am so blessed. Everything about this tree is so, so amazing. And it's right here, by the way, it's sitting, I put it, I put it right here in the office. <laughs> but I don't know, I need help. You guys have to tell me what tree, what kind of tree does it look like to you? Have you ever seen this before online? Um, let me know all of you plant experts or if you have this tree at home Please, please, please let me know because I've already gotten so many questions about it and I really want to be able to link it for you guys um, It is beautiful. I definitely scored it was only $60 and it was like 10 minutes away from my house and she posted it and I was on it. This next item is from Target and it's a set of these two berry bowls. Um, this is by the Hearth and Handline from Target and it's the set of two, it's $9.99, which I feel like is a great deal. I mainly got these just to go on my floating shelves. I don't normally actually use berry bowls, but I do think that they're really cute to display and I like how they're colored. Um, I like the kind of muted green and mauvey tones. I think that they are a great deal. I like how small they are too. My floating shelves are not too big, so there's not that much space. So I needed something kitchen-y that was small enough. I just thought this was great and I love the contrast that it really brings to my kitchen. Perfect for the spring, summertime, honestly fall too. I think these are great fall colors. Um, but yeah, love these. Uh, um, pretty and practical even though I probably We'll never actually use them it is just the point it's the point people who do these are really cute and next this is from etsy but this is also another gift from my other brother for christmas which is just funny they both got me different kinds of bowls um but it is this fluted marble bowl this thing is heavy it's definitely good quality this is also handmade i got this from a small business um on etsy i i picked this out and sent him the link he didn't he, that would be really impressive if he got this for me without me telling him to. I want to say this is the 9 or 10 inch size. This one is pretty big and definitely makes a statement which I love. I have been using this all over my house. Um, there's so many different ways that you can use bowls whether it's to gather things and just use it as a catch-all or if it's for a fruit bowl or just a decor piece stacked on top of some books. So many different ways that you can use a piece like this and I love the fluted scalloped detail that it has. It is just gorgeous and it's definitely an eye catcher piece this can honestly go with so many different decor styles and in my opinion just looks so so high end the next item i want to show you is this marble tic-tac-toe board i don't have all the pieces but i'll show you some clips of it here um i got this from amazon i feel like it was a very reasonable price it was only like 20 ish dollars i want to say maybe a little bit more than that um, but I just use this on my coffee table. I love how it's marble. I like how it's neutral and it also just gives that high-end feel. Very Pottery Barn-like. I know they have a huge chest set that this kind of reminds me of. Um, and they also have their own kind of version of this tic-tac-toe set. So I feel like it's very um, designer looking and high-end, but just not for the designer price. My kids also love playing with this too. They are always... <laughs> stacking this and now I know why because it's just so fun. A nice, cute, practical, stable decor piece. I thought this was perfect for our coffee table. We don't have, we've never really had a coffee table so we've never really had coffee table decor. So I really wanted to get something that was kind of useful for the coffee table and I thought this was a great neutral piece. And the next thing from Amazon is this pillow cover. This is a Teddy Boucle kind of fabric and it is the prettiest 
brown taupish color. I put this in just an extra pillow that I had. My whole family is obsessed with it. It is so cozy, so comfy, and I love how it hides dirt and stains so well. We also have animals and it hides hair really well too, and it's held up so well. It's very thick, and for Amazon, I feel like the quality is very, very good. I love the texture it adds, and again, it's that pretty taupey brown tone that I have been loving. And I definitely have a lot of accents of this around my home, like my curtains and the other vase that I got. So these pillows are perfect for that. A nice, practical, comfy moment. Next, I got some coffee table books. I have been just kind of collecting these, more so from Amazon and TJ Maxx. I've noticed that Amazon prices and TJ Maxx prices really go hand in hand. And you really have to look because sometimes Amazon is like a lot cheaper than TJ Maxx. But... It really depends on the season and the sales going on. Um, so I'd say like it's honestly half and half. I would say if you find a book at TJ Maxx, look it up on Amazon real quick before you buy it. My favorites um, on the inside and the outside are The Art of Home by Shay McGee. The binding is so, so pretty and neutral and it's a big book too. I feel like it is so worth it. Definitely, definitely worth the money. And then the second book that I've been loving is Home Therapy. This is by Anita Yakoida. It is so cute. I like the colorful kind of coastalish vibes that it has. I love the side that this book is kind of bringing out to me. It's making me want to play with more colors. It says interior design for increasing happiness, boosting confidence, and creating calm. Love that. If you are new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I post all kinds of videos about home decor, home makeovers, DIYs. We keep it real around here. We lose pretty and practical decor. We try to do everything ourselves and I take you guys along for the journey with me. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to have you guys. Please stick around and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. It really, really helps out my channel. Um, and it's one of the best ways to support me. So I thank you guys in advance. I would love to have a chat with you in the comments and please let me know what the heck you think this tree is. Also, you guys, don't forget to check out Thrive Market. I will leave the link as well as my discount code so you can save some money down below in the description box.